Right, what's good YouTube, we're back. The landlord's offered us two properties, but these ones are on first refusal, so they're not even on the market yet. They're not even ready. They're actually a building site at the moment. Um, they look like they're gonna be good. We're gonna do our due diligence first before we even make an offer. So we're gonna show you in this video exactly what we do step by step. If you've watched our first video, it was securing two HMO properties in eight days. If you haven't seen that, there'll be a link up there. Since then, we've learned so much. We made a lot of mistakes. We filmed all of it. But now, in this video, we're going to show you and put into practice everything that we've learned. Yeah, so all the, all the tips that we've sort of said in the, in the vlog before, saying, all right, this is what I would have done better. This is what we're going to be doing, and we're going to show you exactly how we do it. No hiding anything, just it's going to be exactly yeah. what we do. And this is, so you, you know, when you get a deal, you know the sort of due diligence that we do. First thing first, before you even check the demand to do anything like that, what you want to do is check the title deeds, check the license, see if you can even run a HMO. We'll show you how to do that in just a second. Yeah, I'll just add quickly as well, with the deal that we've been offered by the landlord, he's turned it, I think it might have been a seven bed or even an eight bed house, but now he's that pigeon, there goes the pigeon yeah <laughs> yeah so with the property that we we we've been offered by the landlord i think it was either a seven bed or an eight bed house and what he's done to it is he's changed it into a three bed hmo and a four bed hmo and he's put a load of en suites in there and he's also put two kitchens so he's turned it into two houses so you want to check the planning and check that everything is all done legit before you take the deal on what's the title deed a document that states and proves a person's legal right to own a piece of land or a building. All right, so to find that out, type in land registry, go on the government website, go on search property ownership information, start now, house number and a postcode, search it. Title register, purchase, check out once you're happy it's gonna cost you three quid so you gotta pay that oh that was close nearly had my bank details <laughs> uh, and then make payment also you want to ask the landlord or the agent for a copy of the hmo license so that you can see if it is licensed for say for example it's got seven rooms but it's only licensed for six occupants then you know that one of those rooms can't be let out also you need to make sure that the house is fully compliant with the license right now you know how to do that you can do it next time yeah obviously we've we've done all that but... yeah so um we've just gone and had a look at the properties they well, obviously they're just building sites so but um they look good they look like they're going to be good so and what we've we do also we... seen um what they are what going to look, look like. like so we'll show you yeah what we'll do is we'll show you quickly the stage that it's at at the moment and then we're also going to show you what the rooms are going to look like as well once they're done but without the furniture that we're going to be putting in there so yeah let's go So the first thing that you want to do is you want to check the demand of your targeted area. The way that we, or one of the ways that we do that is we jump on spare room and we have a look at how many rooms are available 
compared to how many people are wanting rooms. If you want to see in a bit more detail how we do that, then we'll put a link somewhere for, for one of our other videos and give that a watch. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll go on spare room, type in the targeted area. We'll have a look at the pictures. Um, so I'm doing that right now. And have a look at the pictures compared to the price and what the, what are the rooms that you're going to have going to look like. And then you can work out what sort of rents you can get for them. And then you want to click on the, in, well, actually, you want to filter it because the ones that we're getting is with en suites and double rooms. Double room, en suite. So yeah, then you can sort of work out what you can charge. Yeah, you want to get a feel of what the properties are like in the area that you're looking at. You yeah. want to see what the condition of the room's like, what the quality of the house is like, as well as how much the rooms are actually going on for. Okay, so, so. if I click on this one, and I also want to check how many rooms are available. So all of these are available right now. None of them are taken. Yeah. So let's say, for example, that there's properties in the area that you're looking at that are in better condition or better quality than what yours is going to look like. They're charging less rent than what you want to charge and their rooms are empty. That's a bad sign. Yeah, so... Some of them will show you, these are newly added, so most of them are gonna be, um, you know, loads of them are gonna be vacant because they've just been added on. Um, but you wanna sort of work out, okay, are people filling up their rooms? That's how you check. And then once you've done that, you wanna go onto that street and have a look, okay, is that street similar to the street? Is it close by? Is it all got closer amenities? Or amenities, or whatever, however you say it. You've got like shops, high streets, restaurants transport links, bus stops, um, train stations. Yeah, that's uh, all the things that you want to be having a look at. So. And also it's good once you know all of that and you know the area, you, you need to know it like the back of your hand because when you're bringing tenants in as well, if you do take the deal on, you want to be able to sell the room to them. So Yeah, and then obviously check the place at night, see what the, what is it like at night. Is it just not a nice area? Yeah, and, uh, and also to speak to people. So before we would get, walk into the pubs and walk into the shops where everything's shut right now because of COVID. And we'd ask, you know, what do they think of the area? Are they from around here? Has there been a lot of trouble? What, what's, um, I'm looking to move it. What's the area like? Is it? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Quiet, yeah? yeah. Okay. Is there any like, uh, like crime or is it quiet? No, not really. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, mate. Um, yeah, nice one. Appreciate that. Cheers, mate. Right. Cheers, mate. Never had this, you know. 20 years. Quick little stop. Got to do a do dilly. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, do you live around here or have you worked here long? Do you live in this area or have you worked here? I live in Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. Yeah. What do you What do you think of this area? Yeah, it's good. I even went up to a random police officer and said, is there a lot of crime around here? Um, and he said, well, there, there isn't, so, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you need to get to know, you need to know the area really well. And the best way as well is, the, the best way to check if there's a demand is putting a dummy ad up before you take the deal on. Yeah, so I'll show you how to do that. that. Right, so I just put my dummy ad on spare room of the property that we're looking to take on. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's pretty straightforward. You just got to follow the steps on spare room. And the reason that we're putting a dummy ad on is just to get a rough idea of the interest before we actually take the deal on. Ideally, you do want to use pictures of the actual property that you're advertising. But in our case, 
it's still a building site. So instead, we're using pictures that are a similar sort of standard to what our property is going to look like once it's ready. What I'm now going to do is copy and paste the link for this ad to all of the people that have advertised on Spare Room saying that they're looking for a room. So yeah, once you've done all of this, you get a good understanding of what the interest is like. So we check the title deeds, check the HMO certificate, check the planning, um, check the demand. Now we just got to uh, do our numbers on the deal stacker. We'll show you that now. Okay, so here's the deal stacker. First, you want to work out your entry costs. So for the seven bed, landlord wants 2,600. And that generates a deposit, which I believe is five weeks rent or six weeks rent. Um, in this case, there'll be no agency fees and it's fully compliant. So there's no fire safety costs or anything like that. So furniture costs, decoration, dressing, and always get a photographer to do the pictures and make them look professional. Unless you've got a really good camera. And that's the total entry cost to get the rent to rent. So now here's your monthly costs. So the rent, gas, electric, council tax. Council tax, they'll know from the band and the water, the broadband. We don't supply TV or, and we'll be managing it and we get a cleaner. So those are your monthly expenses, time to see your monthly income. So putting in rents that we worked out earlier from our due diligence. All the rooms are different sizes, so there's different rents. Some of them have en suites, so they vary. Right, so straight away that's showing us profit of £377.50 per month, which, you know, we're not happy with. We wouldn't take on a deal that makes that little a month with a minimum of 750 with voids. Um, so do what we do best, put a lower offer in. So it's put £400 cheaper than that. Let's see what that comes out as. £777.50. So, yep, yeah, we'd be happy to take that because it's considering void. So, if we add those together, if it's fully tenanted, that's over a thousand pounds cash flow a month. So, a little tip here how to reduce your initial costs. So, instead of paying a deposit, just five weeks' rent or six weeks, you can just pay for one week's rent to a insurance company that does deposit replacement insurance. And that will cover the landlord for six weeks worth of rent and up to £50,000 in legal fees. So it's better for the landlord, better for us. And yes, yeah, so that brings it down to just under 4000 Return on investment is now only five months to get your money back. And yeah, it's a good deal. If you want a copy of that deal stacker, just comment below. Um, we'll get, out, get one out to you. Right, so that's all done. Now it's time to put the offer in. Yo! So, uh, the deal didn't get accepted. So, someone offered a better offer. And, uh, yeah, we just said to the landlord to just go ahead with that. Um, but, yeah, just goes to show that not everything's going to go your way. And, uh, don't sit and dwell about it. So, yeah, the main lesson learn from this video is never rely on one deal any deal can just fall out of bed at any time you just got to keep your pipeline full keep calling more agents keep mm -hmm. just keep get just have more leads in the pipeline yeah so the only reason you wouldn't be happy with the success you're having because your pipeline's not full enough so keep busy keep doing what you're doing Sometimes it doesn't go to plan, but yeah, don't cry about it, <laughs> just move on. We thought we'd upload this video anyway, because we'll show you the good, the bad, the ugly. If things go wrong or if things go right, we're going to let you know. We're literally vlogging everything that happens in our journey, so make sure you subscribe. You can learn from our mistakes as well. Yeah. Not that we make any, but... <laughs> <laughs> we make a lot, trust me. <laughs> but yeah. That's the point of doing these videos then, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> right, that concludes this one. Ah, so you thought it was finished? New office. Have a little look around. New 
member of the team. Hi guys! <laughs> New property. Hey. 